we may finally know the purpose of 5,200 mystery holes in Peru. Hundreds of years ago, someone took great pains to carve thousands of holes into a long ridge top strip in the Andean foothills. Just who built the structure known as Monte Sierpe and why has baffled the world since 1933. When the National Geographic Society published Robert Sippy's aerial photographs of a strange site, and now archaeologists think they know the answer. An analysis of plant material found inside the hole suggests that it may have initially functioned as a marker and later as an accounting system, says the team led by archaeologist Jacob Bongers of University of Sydney in Australia. Why would ancient peoples make over 5,000 holes in the foothills of southern Peru? Were they gardens? Did they capture water? Did they have an agricultural function, Bonger says? We don't know why they are there, but we have produced some promising new data that yield important clues and support novel theories about the site's use. Humans don't tend to undertake major construction works unless there is a purpose, and Monte Siepe is a monumental work of landscape engineering. The long strip of holes measures 1.5 kilometers, or almost a mile, long and around seven or eight holes wide. It consists of some 5,200 holes excavated from the sediment, some deliberately reinforced at the sides using stones. It would have required significant planning and time, which leads to the obvious question, who and why? Proposed ex explanations have ranged from gardening to fog collection. Bongers and his colleagues built a previous work on, on, the, on previous work that proposes the site was used as a system of taxation by the Inca. Well, why would, it, why would it be all the way up there? I'd like to know. The archaeologists conducted extensive field work mapping the site with drones and testing sediment samples from inside the holes to determine which materials, if any, may have been placed there and how long ago. The Inca Empire moved into the region around 1400 AD, so scientists have been operating under the assumption that Monte Sierpe is an Inca site. However, the Inca culture was not the first to live there. Before their expansion into the region, the Chinca culture had lived there for hundreds of years. Radiocarbon dating of charcoal from one of the pits revealed it was deposited around 1320 AD, a timing that suggests the material predates the Inca. If so, it suggests that Chinca likely built and used the site well before the Inca arrived. Pottery fragments found on the surface support the same time frame. The most significant revelation, the researchers say, is the contents of the holes. Their microbotanical analysis of sediments from 19 holes yielded starch and pollen grains of maize, that's corn, amaranthaceae, the plant grown that includes quinoa, spinach, beets, and chard, pudea, the grassy subfamily that includes cereals such as oats, wheat, and barley, and cucurbita, or squash. Other plant materials found include bulrush and willow species used in basket making. Taken together, these results suggest that the holes once contained food plants held in the baskets used to transport them. This is very intriguing, Bonger says. Perhaps it was a pre-Inca marketplace, like a flea market. We know the pre-Hispanic population here was around 100,000 people. Perhaps mobile traders seafaring merchants in llama car caravans, specialist farmers and fisherfolk, and others were coming together at the site to exchange local goods such as corn and cotton. Yet aerial imagery of the site reveals a pattern that is not as apparent from the ground. The holes are arranged in blocks that the researchers say are remarkably similar to the Inca quipu, a knotted string counting device recovered from the same Andean Valley. This suggests that the later Inca repurposed the holes for tax collection, using them as a tribute register to ensure the appropriate levies were collected. 
Fundamentally, I view these halls as a type of social technology that brought people together and later became a large-scale accounting system under the Inca Empire, Bonger says. There are still many more questions why this is the why this monument only is seen here and not over all the Andes was Montesiepi's sort of landscape quipu. But we're getting closer to understanding this mysterious site. It's very exciting. The next step is a second phase of fieldwork to collect more samples, data, and date more of the pits and study more of the local quipus to validate and build upon these fascinating findings. The research has been published in Antiquity magazine. This is on Science Alert by Michel Starr. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.